This $5,000 PCGS submission took us four months to get back. Now it's got Morgans, it's got early type coins, it's got gold in here. I mean, did I do good? Did I not do good? Uh, we'll see how it is uh, in this video. And we're gonna also, uh, you know, just give our projections of what they were gonna be when we were gonna send them in, what we thought, and then how we got them back and what PCGS told us because some of these are good and some of these are no bueno. And just to let you guys know, every one of these coins except for one is not ours so if you guys ever want to send some stuff into pcgs and don't want to pay for a membership text me right here and i'll help you out i'd be happy to send some coins in for you and make a video like this the two collectors we want to talk to you about today is adam and trey they basically sent us a bunch of coins a few months ago and said hey can you send these out and so we're very thankful for them and us being able to showcase their collection to you so let's get to these coins and like I said before, the way that we're going to talk about these coins is simple. We're going to talk about our projections of the coins, like this $3 gold piece. We thought it would be XF details. Then we're going to talk to you about why we thought it would be XF details. And then we're going to take off the sticky note and reveal the grade to you. This allows us to have a little bit of a learning and understanding as a coin dealer, but also as coin collectors or coin dealers watching this video. All right, guys. So here is the PCGS submission all of our great assessments on there that we thought they would be. Some were good, some weren't, but we're gonna talk about each individual coin here. This is an 1878cc Morgan dollar. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, you can see a lot of the hits on the face here. The, the luster is really nice. I do like the flashiness of the coin. And as you can see by the grade projection, I thought it would be MS62 and maybe a shot of proof-like. I've seen a few coins like this that have been proof-like and this one felt a little bit proof like to me and so we're going to reveal that grade to you right now okay so we were correct on ms62 but it didn't proof like and i guess for me there's just not enough darkness in the fields not enough reflectivity for this one to be that but that's okay i think that uh, adam will be very happy adam sent in a bunch of carson cities for us so we can share them with you and like i said trey sent us in all this gold and this uh, CC 20 cent piece, so very cool. Uh, the next one I want to show you is this 1881 CC uh, Morgan Dollar. I got thought this one was MS62 because if you take a look at the face here, there's a large scra scratch going all the way up the neck, and then it um, is going onto the face there as well, so it almost looks like a cross. And uh, I didn't really like this coin uh, in an MS63 holder, I just thought it was fair at MS62. And so when you take a look at the reverse, the reverse is actually pretty uh, outstanding. I thought it was really nice. It may have held it up and made it a 63, not too sure. But when we take a look at this grade here, um, the grade on this piece was an MS62 also. So still a pretty nice blast white coin, Carson City. You can't go wrong with that. I do think it's correct for the grade at Mint State 62. When you take a look at this better date 1885 CC Morgan dollar, another really nice blast white coin. As you can see, there's a lot of hits on the face there. Just a lot of, you know, you can even see that coin read going all the way down right there. But the luster is fantastic on these examples. I think Adam did a great job at, at picking them up. And I thought this coin was a Mint State 63. When I take a look at the reverse, another really flawless reverse. And I mean, gosh, this one's really close. It's either high, uh, you know, high MS62 or a really uh, decent MS63. I felt MS63 was more appropriate. Um, and so let's show you guys the grade here. Okay, so this is the MS62, another one, boys, and that's just the way it goes, but still a really fantastic piece. It's always good to get them in a holder and learn from them as well. So here's the last Carson City uh, Morgan doll that we want to share with you. This is an 1891cc, and you can see the luster is not as, you know, exaggerant as the other ones are. You can also take a look at that cheek there. I felt there was some, like, a wipe or hairlines on the face. You can almost see kind of like a, kind of a wiping, almost circular type of lines on the face. And so I felt like this coin is Unc Details grade. And the luster for me just didn't feel full. It felt like it was washed out a little bit or it was like over dipped or something like that. You can see kind of some crud in between all the letters there. And uh, yeah, so let's show you guys the grade on this one. 
this one graded in state 62 also. So I can be wrong, but sometimes I just like to be a little bit more harsh with my grading because I would rather get have someone have a really nice raw coin and not spend the money for, for it to put in a details holder than to you know get someone's hopes up and then not give them what they want. So videos like this take a lot of time to produce and create. And so if you guys want to continue to help us further our, our business, but also content creation side, make sure to visit our website, acousticcollectibles.com. We have uh, new coins coming up every single week for your collection, or if you want to put them in your case at a coin show. The next coin I want to present to you guys is this 1846 seated quarter. Uh, I thought this one was a little bit dark for an Unk coin. I just didn't see any wear on it. I think it was just really nice overall. And I thought this one would grade. I don't buy too many raw coins that are unk. And uh, we'll see how this one goes here. But if you take a look at the reverse, uh, I think the reverse was just, there was no issues to me. No big scratches. I didn't see any cleaning in my opinion. And uh, I don't know, I felt the coin was nice overall. But let's share you guys with you the grade and see how we did. Okay, so our first detail coin of the video. I, of course, this is the only coin that I submitted from my inventory, and uh, that's just the way it goes, but I thought this one was appropriately, you know, I thought it would be, you know, MS-62, MS-61, but it didn't end up happening, and so I'm going to take a little bit of a closer look at this after this video, try to learn from it. Uh, definitely a head scratcher there, but let's take a look at this Carson City 20 cent piece. I felt this one was in the high VF range just because of the nice detail on the obverse. I think there's just so much meat on the bone there. There are a few things on the obverse that are a problem to me. There's a scratch right on her arm and there's a little bit of, you know, kind of friction out in the fields, kind of a few scratches out there to underneath the cap as you can see. And there's a little kind of a few rim dings on the side. Those sometimes can be swept under the rug for you when you're looking at coins. You're just trying to look at the surfaces, but sometimes the rim or light scratches can be, you know, kind of avoid. You can avoid those and think you're getting a better grade than you are. There's a little scratch underneath the A there. Very hard to pick up. Uh, it's almost, you can see it right there. But definitely some really good detail on this coin. So I thought it would do really well. I thought it would be a high VF, you know, VF30, VF35. Let's see how we did on this one. Okay, so we did VF25. And the reason why I probably, to begin with, thought it was a VF30 to VF35 is because of those marks that I just didn't, didn't look at very good. And I think they might have net graded this coin down because of that. And that's okay. I think getting this coin in a holder and it's straight grading is something that's really good, especially for collectors and, and collector value. And maybe that coin might be good for CAC. Uh, here's a few gold pieces. We're still learning about gold a lot, and uh, this is going to be definitely a good learning curve for us. So if you take a look at the cheek here on this 2.5 Indian, I really thought this 1911 was kind of in the AU50, AU53 range. Just a lot of wear in the fields there, as you can see. Kind of some, some lines, and you can kind of see some darkness. Just not full luster, as you can tell. And so AU is kind of where I wanted to be, and it was a little bit lower because of just how many kind of issues, as you can see. There's a lot of wiping on the reverse as well. And so I'm not really a fan of the coin, but I did think it would AU50 to AU53. Let's see how we did. So this one ended up going AU55, which kind of surprised me. I thought there was more wear on the coin than what was to be expected, and so I thought the grade would match what I thought, but sometimes we can be wrong, and that could be a good thing. So I hope you guys learned a little bit from that coin. We talked, we picked up this coin earlier. This is the 18, uh, I think it's the 1854, $3, $3 gold piece. There's a lot of kind of issues in the fields here. I think it was just slid around a lot. That's probably what PCGS was thinking. It almost looks like it has a little bit of a cleany look to it. And so that's kind of the reason why I thought it would be XF details. Let's flip the coin over and take a look at that as well. There's also some tar, it looks like, on the left side there around 9 o'clock. And so still a pretty nice coin. Either way, you probably want to get this in a holder just to make sure it's genuine. There's a lot of fake $3 gold pieces and gold dollars out there. And so let's see what PCGS graded this coin at. Okay, XF40. So... 
Like I said, I have a lot to learn about gold, but I do think it is a lot softer of a metal, so they're a little bit more, you know, lenient on this coin. And uh, XF40, very happy for the collector. He uh, sent in a lot of great stuff. And so here is a 1886 $5 gold piece. You can kind of see the same type of story out in the fields, just pretty beat up. And there is some luster still around the stars. And so I'm not sure what happened to this coin, but I do think it great would have graded AU53. I just think it's uh, it's got enough for that, but I don't think it has anything more. When you flip it over, it's got some remaining luster on the back as well. A lot of lines in the fields, just was a little bit beat up there. But let's just take a look and see what PCGS gave this coin. Okay, AU50. So we shoot high, we shoot low, and they end up you know, meeting us in the middle there, but still a pretty nice piece. What do you guys think of this 1886 $5 gold piece? I do think, uh, you know, AU50, I could see it just because of all the things that were happening on the coin, but it is what it is. So the last coin I want to share with you guys is this 1874 gold dollar. I take, to take a look at this coin here, I thought it was really nice with luster. I don't see any wear on the coin, so it would definitely be a mint state coin. I do see a lot of kind of, you know, friction or kind of striations out in the fields here. And so my initial thought of this coin was MS62. There also is a little crud above the E and the S on the rim. And so that was kind of a little bit of a takeaway for me, something that I wasn't too excited about on the coin. And when you take a look at the reverse, you know, the luster is still pretty nice on there as well. Well struck, and there's still some, you know, kind of a little bit of lines out there, but very nice. Let's see if this one grade MS62. And uh, yeah, let's check it, check it out. Okay, so Mint State 63, not too bad. I think this coin did very well. And uh, yeah, we learned a lot today from all these coins. And I think all these collectors will be very happy. I hope you guys learned a lot as well. Thank you guys for watching today's PCGS $5,000 coin unboxing. We wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the grades, what we thought of them. We hope you guys learned a lot. Comment your thoughts down below, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.